Morning. And we're live, yes, on Prime Morning. My name is Najli. Thank you for joining us. If you just tuned in, we're going to have a great conversation, a great one there with Jay and the Vodafone people. I love Vodafone Cash. I love money. You know, Momo is good. So please try and get on it. I'm going to have a conversation about farming today. And farming is very necessary. See, if the farmers don't go to the farm so they can put their magic together, that will bring out the farm produce that we would eat, we would take care, we would cook and eat on a regular basis, you and I wouldn't be leaving. So it's very important that we recognize farmers. And I'm going to be doing this with the host of um, the farmers, Farm. the Ghanaian farmer show on Joy Prime. We're going to have a great conversation. Her name is Enyuna Manye, and I love her name. Ewe and Ga together. Please, let's explain that for me. Ewe and Ga, you are so special. The Manye Thank means you. queen, you know yes. that, right? Yes. Enyuna, what does Enyuna mean? It's good for me. It's good for me. Yes. Hey. The name is powerful. Good morning to your parents. Good morning. Good, in, good morning to your parents. <laughs> I always want to be it's, it's, it's a fantastic name. <laughs> Thank you very I mean, much. Ma how are you doing? I'm blessed. The show, the farmers, the Ghanaian farmer. The Ghanaian farmer. It's yes. very important. Forgive me. Right. The Ghanaian farmer. Mm -hmm. It's been on for close to a year now. Yes. How's it been doing? What's the, what's ah. the feedback? The reaction? It's been an amazing journey. Mm -hmm. It's been so interesting. Mm -hmm. It's been a journey that has taught me a lot. Uh, especially to treat farmers right, to respect them. Because my father back in the days used to be a rice farmer in Shah Hills. Okay. Not recently that real estate people has come for all the land. Mm -hmm. But back in the days, uh, when you go around Shah Hills thereabout, they grow a lot of rice, bakoshito, and then the chili pepper. So I've seen from my childhood days mm -hmm. when my daddy goes to the farm. But I mean, I was very young. So not until now that I've grown. I didn't know what stress farmers have to go through to put food on our table. Is that the reason why you started the show? So you see, a lot of our parents or people have gone through farming. Yeah. And they are now in retirement. Yeah. But there is nothing to show uh, what they have done. Mm -hmm. When we are counting people that have gone into agriculture and contributed significantly to their country's economy, there is nothing to show for, like my father, for instance. I don't have a video of him going to the farm, getting beaten by insects, snake, and all that. But this, you know, program or show has given me and you, or even your children, my children, a chance that if they grow up and they go to the internet and type Ghanaian farmer, they have a history. They have something to relate to. Okay, so this woman used to be at this farmer. This woman used to be at this farmer. That was one of the reason. Secondly, farmers are doing quite a lot. Mm -hmm. But then, they don't have, mm. they barely have platforms, if I should say. Yeah, they yeah. barely have platform to project the good works of Ghanaian farmers. Not just Ghanaians who are here in this country, but the neighboring African countries and the two European countries. They barely know the history of what we grow, what soil is good for, what mm -hmm. you want to grow, mm -hmm. which sector you want to go to, the mm -hmm. duration of the crops and all that. Mm -hmm. They barely know. Yeah. But platforms like this give them such education. Yeah. It gives them an idea mm -hmm. of what to invest into if you should visit Ghana mm -hmm. and you want to invest into any sector. Mm -hmm. Agriculture could be something you want to look at. Yeah. Farmers have basic challenges like access to funding, like irrigation mm -hmm. uh, on their farms, mm -hmm. machineries for it. We are all preaching mechanization. But can a petty holder farmer afford that? I was about to say, well, <laughs> we have a farmer's day where we celebrate mm -hmm. farmers and all, mm -hmm. and farmers are awarded. But mm -hmm. why would you say some of them? Is it that, are you trying to say farmer's day is all about the, the how do I say it, those who have bigger Yes, farms so, so basically... So Farmers Day in Ghana is a great idea. It's a brilliant idea. Good, good also to the government for initiating that. But it mostly, between 70 to 80 percent, it mostly favors commercial farmers. Because the one acre farmer, the two acre farmer, what are you going to show forth for? They mm -hmm. go through the, the ranks. Mm -hmm. How many goats do you have? Mm -hmm. How many cows do you have? Mm -hmm. How many acre of garden eggs farm do you have? How many cocoa farms do you have? That is the rank that they use to, you know, mark or qualify those who go to, to participate in the awards game. Mm -hmm. So for my uncle or auntie who has a one acre farm, no, you haven't gotten to that level yet. Yeah. So our platform has taken it upon ourselves. And since the show commenced, we just don't want to be a TV program. 
we want to have a social intervention that will impact and motivate the farmer and that's why we have an initiative called support the farmer initiative so what we do basically is after we interview you now probably you have a snail farm or a pig farm oh by now you even get something <laughs> to eat <laughs> oh, you have a snail farm or a pig farm yeah after the interview with you we want to say thank you now for what you do we want to appreciate you so we present a farming to you That's to nice. you it could be a cutlass it could be a hoe it could be the bowl that the, the pig feed in or the spray machine used to spray the garden eggs farm yeah. so we have taken it upon ourselves and that's what we do basically when we visit farms and along the way we also went to asama Kesi to do a donation to an 80 year old woman who is still going to the farm using her walk and stick and that video is on youtube you can look out for madam janet and you see her it's it's amazing and the interesting thing is she said she didn't taste chocolate before a so, cocoa farmer wow for 80 years so that day when we gave her cocoa, she was tearing. She was like, it's Isana, chocolate tear. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know. That's inspiring. It is. But I, I, with all these things that you're doing, mm. I commend you for mm -hmm. that. But I heard you're doing something this. Yes. You know, a little birdie's whispering and yes. telling you something yes. Yes. this yes. weekend. So congratulations to my amazing farmers out there. We love you all. And my team, what would I have done without them? The guys who follow me, I'm the only lady following them everywhere. Thank you so much, uh, Francis, Opuni, and then Samwa. Thank you so much. Uh, so we are one year, and we couldn't have just let our one year slide away like that. We thought it's, it's, it's a year to mark and make an impact. It's all for the impact for me. Mm -hmm. So we've partnered an association in Adan called Farm for the Livelihood okay. Association. Mm -hmm. And it has about 1,000 other people who are small water farmers under their watch. So we've asked them to give us about 300 of those farmers. And among the activities we are doing on Saturday in Ada, a community called Anyakpo. 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 We are doing health screening, you know, for their BP, their sugar, malaria, and a few other things. Well, our parents barely have time to check for those things. Yeah. So we are doing health screening. Aside that, there are some crops that take between three, four months like chili pepper, like carrot, onion, and a few of them, three months, four months, you're ready to go. Yeah. So we would have it on display for everybody to appreciate and see some of the things that grow in that community. We'll be having a stakeholder engagement, and the Deputy Minister for Agriculture, Food and Agriculture, Honorable Yao Frimpon Ado, Wonderful. is our guest speaker. He'll be there to engage them and know what is the need of those farmers. So you're to top it all, we have a donation. Okay. And that is worth 20,000 and many thanks to the minister himself honorable Uswe Free Akuto for supporting us to do this it's now um, we we're us. talking about all the wonderful things that you're doing mm. but you didn't mention the venue the location mm. you mentioned the place but yes. where exactly which venue in the town and what time can people show up so at that east district precisely Anyakpo community around the Adan, Adan Training College mm -hmm. so when you get to Adan Junction just tell them you're going to the Adan Training College it's a straight road that leads you to the community. And then you ask for the Anyakpo community. 7 a.m. prompt, because of the health screening. If you're in Adan, you're watching me. 7 a.m. prompt, and you're a farmer, please be there. Do your health screening and move to the next stage. It's going to be an exciting day for us. Mm. And many thanks to Crocodile Marchers. They've also been part of the Support the Farmer Initiative. And uh, many thanks to Lizzie Tomato Mix. We wouldn't have come this far one year without your support. We are entirely grateful. And the management of multimedia, especially to Mr. Ken Ansa, when he saw my content, if he was not pleased with it, we would not be here speaking about Ghanaian Farmer today. Mm. So many thanks to the multimedia team. Thank you so much. So uh, we are actually very proud mm. of you because it takes a lot to be able to put that together. Congratulations mm. to you, Thank you on your one year. It takes a lot so work to mm. we in every milestone mm. we need to celebrate exactly. it. So congratulations to you exactly. and we're very proud to be associated with thank you. you thank you for being here this morning talk about the Ghanaian farmer very very important mm. and then mm. i will come there mm -hmm. and come and check it out we'll be at Sadar in the morning you have on to Saturday come. You and come and check you want right. congratulations to yourself thank you very much. we just spoke to Enyuna Manye and on the Ghanaian farmer she's doing something wonderful this weekend coming up rent to Wahala you really want to stay this for this yeah <laughs>